This is Gladiator Begins for the Sony PSP. More like Gladiator Addiction. This this is the gateway drug to becoming a gladiator. It's a simple game, but damn, is it addictive. It's the perfect PSP hack and slash fighting game where you play as a gladiator and mercilessly pound your enemies into a bloody heap beneath the cheers and roars of a Roman crowd. What, what's not to like about this? One of, one of my favorite questions that I get every now and then is, is do you think video games are becoming more violent? It's horrible, isn't it? And, and I'm, I'm always forced to go back to the Romans. Like, games are entertainment, right? So a bunch of teenagers swearing at each other in Call of Duty is somehow more violent than Romans throwing slaves to wild animals? And it usually stops the argument right there, but this game's got the best of both worlds, where it's video game violence and you're playing as gladiators slaughtering other gladiators, trying to work your way out of slavery. It's like Conan the Barbarian mixed with Gladiator in video game form. It's Gladiator Begins from Axis and Acquire. Look for this game if you have a PSP. Most places that throw out number ratings like I throw out copies of E.T. on the Atari will probably overlook this one because it is simple, but I think that's part of its strength. It's about button mashing and collecting weapons and armor, and it's, it's just fun. What have the Romans ever done for video gamers? They've given us the aqueduct and gladiators. It's a, it's a very romanticized vision of gladiators. It probably would have really sucked to be one, but it makes for a great video game. But I don't want to be eaten by a lion. Get in the ring! You start off by creating a gladiator using your gladiator construction tool. You can make a male or a female, change their skin color, give them some different hair. There's lots of different faces to choose from and name them. My gladiator is named Doomgar from Germania which is just outside Philadelphia. There's a variety of gladiatorial events that you compete in in each arena. Sometimes you're fighting hordes of enemy gladiators trying to disembowel you. Sometimes it's two on two or you versus a gladiator champion. I love the pieces of armor that you knock off your opponents and when you send their helmets spinning across the arena. It's just so amazingly gratifying to break them apart piece by piece, know that their head is uncovered, and then go after them with a hammer. In addition to basic, fun, button-mashing style controls on the PSP, the other really fun part of this game is collecting. Because there's a wide variety of weapons that you win after each event, you can buy weapons and armor, you can even combine some of them. And if you get tired of just hitting people with a hammer and using a shield, you can mix it up, go with a spear. How about two knives? Maybe a trident or a chainsaw? The Romans were brilliant engineers after all. Let's change Doomgar's look and go with more of a Skeletor feel here. We'll deck him out in some heavier armor, and instead of fighting with a sword and shield style, I'm going to go with two short swords. Which will give me slightly less defense, but it will be faster. As you play through the game, there's some light storytelling elements, but basically you're working to pay off your debt and free your slave. As you compete, your character levels up and increases his or her strength, vitality, and endurance. Gladiator Begins is just good old straightforward hack and slash beat em up style fun with gladiators. It's not much for music, it's not much for scenic backgrounds, but it's got it where it counts with decent visuals on the PSP and decent controls. It's not a groundbreaking game by any means, but it is fun. And notice that I have this guy's helmet knocked off. I'm not letting him get near his helmet to pick it back up, and he's not going to last long. And that's the game, Gladiator Begins on the PSP. Be a gladiator without actually having to face all of the inconveniences of being a real gladiator. Ah!